Hi everyone, it's Grace here from Young Knock Nahini. Hope you're all well. We really miss seeing everybody's faces out and about in the community. Um, but thank you for all that you've been doing to stay home and stay safe. I know that it, it hasn't been easy at times and it's been lots of additional stresses for families, but well done. We really appreciate it. I'm going to have a little chat with you today about the power of play and in particular, people play. So what do I mean about when I'm talking about people play? It's play that you don't need any equipment or props or even toys for. And actually, in fact, do you know what your child's favourite toy of all is anyway? It's you, their parent or caregiver. Your, your children can't get enough of those moments of fun, playful interactions with you, um, within their relationships with you. And sometimes we hear people saying things like, oh, the kids are over there, they're just playing. But actually, there's no such thing as just playing. When children play, they learn and they're developing in so many different areas. So when you play with your little one, you're actually teaching them, teaching them skills and you're building, you're building their brain. That's how powerful play is. Now, I'm not saying you have to try and spend hours, cram hours of play into your day. Absolutely not. It's about what's manageable for you and your family. You're the expert in your own child, so you know what will work best um, in terms of play during the day. And it's really about ordinary, everyday moments during your day. It might be during nappy changing, when you're chatting, having breakfast, any of those ordinary, everyday moments. That's when we can add a little bit of play into them. So what do I mean when I'm saying people play? It's probably lots of play that you're, you'll recognise and that you might already be doing at home. It's things like peekaboo, hideys, um, anything that has song and movement, clap handies, uh, round and round the garden, tickles, tickle play. It's all of these, that play that involves you and your little ones interacting together. So a few top tips to make the most out of people play. First of all, is try to get face to face with your little one. So what do I mean by that? I've got baby Betty here to help me. Um, baby Betty is our baby massage doll. So when baby, baby Betty and I are sitting like this, I can't see baby's face and she can't see my face. Whereas if I turn her a little bit in my lap, now, now we're face to face. And lots of the times we might see babies sitting in our laps like this. Now we're face to face again. And when you think about it, when you're changing baby's nappy, or maybe when you're washing baby, you're naturally face to face. And some buggies, babies sitting facing you as you're walking along. And why is face to face so important? Right from the moment that babies are born, they love faces, particularly your face, the face of their caregiver and your voice. And babies learn so much from our faces. So they're watching our faces for our expression. They're watching our mouths move. And also we know that babies communicate with us right from the very start, but it can be tricky sometimes to interpret what they're telling us. So when we're faced towards our baby, we notice where their eyes are looking. Their eyes might look away to say, okay, I want a little bit of a break in play now. We're looking at, they might raise their eyebrows to tell us something so we can see what's going on and see what baby's trying to tell us. Another tip is to wait. I don't know if it's a quirk thing or what, but we love talking. And as grown-ups, we tend to fill a lot of the gaps. So we have to pause and wait and allow our babies, our toddlers, our young children to show us what they want. So, you know, be mindful of just holding back a little bit and waiting to see what your little one wants to play. And Sally talked a little bit about something called serve and return in her video clip on sharing books with little ones. And serve and return happens during play as well. So in serve and return, we're imagining a tennis ball bouncing from baby's brain to my brain and back again. So it turns into this turn-taking dance of interaction. So if we're playing peekaboo, baby Betty might serve to me. She might kick her legs. 
and I'm thinking, okay, does that mean she wants to play peekaboo or to have another turn? So now the ball's in my court. I need to return that serve and say, oh, let's play peekaboo. And then it's back to baby Betty. So it's this back and forth interaction. We're both having a turn. And I suppose the most important thing in terms of people play is to have fun, to enjoy yourself. Um, and again, you will know what's best for your little ones. So thanks a million for listening. Feel free to get in touch, um, leave us a comment or give us a, a call if you'd like to chat and mind yourselves. Bye everyone.